All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Sorry about yesterday. I uh, got home from a dentist appointment with a migraine that, or migraine, migraine that basically put me out of commission for the rest of the day. So that's kind of what happened. But that's all right. Let's jump right back into it. Why can I not hear any? Oh, there you go. Just took the sound a minute to catch up. Let's grab this uh, this gunship module or what or ID card or whatever the fuck it's called, and see what we uh what we can find, and who might pay us for it. There we go. I don't. Where's the other one? Oh, it's dead already. Oh shit, okay, okay. Big one. Oh my god, it went flying. Alright. Um, where's... What, what am I got? Where is this meat even contained at? Is it under the junk or... <laughs> in consumables? Because I want to sell all this and see how much we get for it. Oh yeah, I found one of these. There it is. Uh, screw it, let's kill them. Oh boy. Okay, 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 we're good. Oh, it does fire damage. Thankfully, he's got some, I think. Alright, so the real question is how do we get up there? Maybe up this way? Ooh. You're the only one here. You're the only one I can see. There's one in the back. Okay, maybe not. Maybe there's more. We got it. Maybe I should have invested a little bit more into uh, oh, into hand-to-hand -hand combat or melee combat. There we go. Whew! Some big fuckers. Wait, what kind of armor is he wearing? Oh no, I was just looking at the boots. All right. I didn't need to track any more points, did I? No. I'll keep an eye on things out here. You yeah, sure? Uh, me too. You have fun, Captain. Okay. <coughs> All right. Let's see what we can get from here. Eject Captain's command key. Locate targeting module. Let's see primary. All right, let's eject this. Good. I need to delete something. Maybe I should get rid of this axe. Yeah, let's do that. I right, did that. Yes, it did help.
something in here. I can't even open that door. Wait, what? What was that? Okay. Man, come on, let me get to the ladder. Any more dead? Nope. Here we go. Optional, give it to Graham or S oh, wait, yeah, that said sign jar Graham, Graham, right? Let me let me check. Yeah, I'm not gonna let. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not gonna let them massacre an entire city. Just just work with them, talk to them. All right, ladies. We good? I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Uh. What's with the pleasantries? You want to know something? Just ask. All right. Yeah. At first, we all thought it was about damn time. I don't know if you've noticed, but Monarch ain't exactly easy on the spirit. <laughs> then it got uglier than a rat eating a sour grape. That... that's ugly? Okay. Um... It's not exactly easy to evacuate a planet. Uh... I hear that a lot, but what happened exactly? Everything that could have gone wrong did. Townships were promised evac shuttles that never came. Oh. Overland routes were attacked by marauders and wildlife. Supplies went missing. Our equipment started corroding on account of the sulfur in the air. It was a fine mess. I understand. Tier 2 isn't doing much better. Don't blame them for screwing... Uh, you don't blame them for screwing up? Uh, would it be better if they had just stayed? I don't know. But at least we'd have money to back us up. Supply shipments. Food that we don't have to hunt down. Look at MSI. They're getting along fine. I have to think the corpse could have made it work if they'd reprioritized. Not good enough. Hel uh, Halcyon should be thriving. But red tape holds them back. You think Halcyon needs to change a leadership? I'm not sure we need anything, Cap. We've had our growing pains, to be sure. But here we are. Still alive. Still fighting. Long as nobody goes around trying to dismantle the whole thing, I think we'll be fine. Hey. Progress requires structure. Nobody's gonna build a sewer pipe or a road if they don't got a boss telling them to. The bureaucracy's necessary. Okay. Uh, people were perfectly comfortable shitting in holes before we had sewers. Oh my god. It's not incorrect, but still. Uh, eventually, someone will uh, take it upon themselves to pr provide for the community. <laughs> Never thought about it that way. Well, bo both this one and the middle option are kind of right. Sure. Then the next time they want to build a road, they'll charge tolls to recoup the costs. Then they'll hire someone to help them build another. Before you know it, they've got themselves a staff. Pay checks, seminars on the best road building standards and practices. It always happens eventually, Captain. May as well embrace it. Yeah. It just doesn't need to be a corporate structure. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna give this to them. Unless I can just talk to them, let's see. Oh, oh wow, that's a texture drop and a half. I don't really know what would happen if I keep Kept this thing. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. 
Could you agree to a truce? They're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. Why don't you try? Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipiller, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever <coughs> I wish. Right. Uh, you're good with details, but you could use someone who sees the big picture. Uh, people who wrote your reviews are the same type of people you'll deal with on the board. You too. She has a point, sir, and it's not all bad. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. Zora. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Are you serious? One can't be haphazard about these things. Dude! Besides, if you think her skills will complement mine, then we should see what those skills are. Very well. Fine. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. All right. All right. Fine. God. God damn you, Sanjar. <laughs> nope. Shit. Is this Cascadia? Okay, so it's in this office over here. Oh my God. Really? There we go. Okay. Where are we Where are we headed? Can I can I get Nope, there is no local maps. So I guess over here. <coughs> Let's see if I can get in from the upstairs. <coughs> oh my god. What the hell is messing with my nose? <clears throat> Incoming! I'm not getting through. Jesus, point blank to the face and you're still not dead? We're done here. Alright, we're good. this? Yes, I can. <clears throat> uh, Zora Blackwood. Okay. Top-notch sawbones. Good, uh, a good head for working under pressure. She knows how to assimilate large uh, amounts of detail, detailed information, make quick decisions. Her confidence and decisiveness. Okay. All right. So, back to Sanjar. Oh wait, no. I gotta. I gotta get out of here, don't I? I gotta get out the building. All right. There we go. Oh come on. Get to the. There we go. Jesus. All right, Sanjar. I got her reviews. Please be happy. Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? Hold on. I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Hold on. Oh, do I, do I need to talk to Zora? Wait. I got to the HR terminal. What? Oh shit! Really? What happened? Cause that. <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't see a. 
I didn't see an option to like eject anything. All I did was looked at her review. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I need to talk to her first. I don't. I don't know. Cause I, I would figure you'd be able to show him her her uh, employee reviews, get him on board, and then go talk to her to see what she's for. What the hell is that? Oh, well, that's just a broken bottle. All right, so what do I need to do? Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> Now, I think instead of going back to Sanjar, we, uh... We simply go see what we can do in, in talk, when it comes to talking to them. Oh my god. There we go. I mean, hey, maybe we can lie to her and say that Sanjar wants to work with her now. And only her. Zora Graham. Okay, let me let me quickly uh, save. Just in case. Hello, Captain. We should chat. Okay. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I <clears throat> can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Sounds good to me. I'm with you there. Let's talk to him. And you'd run it in, uh, in his stead. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Well, this worked out a little bit better. <clears throat> Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. What? Zora? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops? Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? Yeah, I don't suffer religious zealots. How many times do I gotta keep saying this? How can you say that after all I've done for the Iconoclasts? They wouldn't be here without me. I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. <sighs> guilty? I didn't mean for them to die. I'm not a monster. Of course I feel fucking guilty. I've spent years atoning for my sins. 
I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. That isn't necessary. Not much of a choice here, Zora. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Incoming! I always hit the wrong fucking button. Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You did the right thing. You've got the... Void help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? Hold on, I was thinking, uh, you and Sandra should join I forces. I thought about it, but... I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Sweet. I know it's a long shot, shot but I'll try. All right, awesome. Now all we gotta do, I always do this, I always go past the door, is uh, head back to there. Am I friendly enough to, no, I'm not friendly enough to take shit. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's fast travel back to Stellar Bay. Oh dear God. All right. Sanjar? That proposition is looking mighty fine. Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? Yep. I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. Yeah, probably. All right. I'll have Celia organize a meeting in neutral territory, the old OSI church in the ruins. Meet us there, and we'll discuss terms. All right. Awesome. Now all we have to do is oversee the negotiations. Good old intergalactic you and me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I hope to God it doesn't fall apart though. Although I find it weird how they don't call it a plasma blade. Or plasma sword. Okay. Just around the corner. All right. Hey, thanks for coming. Um, okay. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. Duh. That's the spirit. <laughs> you gotta scale it back a bit. Uh, don't have time for the nonsense from either of you. Let's just get this done. 
Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. If it were, I wouldn't be standing here all vulnerable-like. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. You don't have weeks, Sanja. Zori Zora is ready to storm the city. Uh, what if the Iconoclast support, uh, supported your supply lines? Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. All right, uh... I'm not saying live outside, just help in the wilderness. I suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Yeah, of Captain, course. this might really work. Truly, a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. <laughs> Careful, Zora. Graham was, sent, was Sanjar's friend. Something tells me Sanjar didn't know. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something. But you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. Uh, it is. We found the correspondence. But that means... I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I buy it. Sanjar ain't capable of hurting a sprat, even from a distance. Nah. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. Uh, take it back in Hatsura. You're here for your people, not the past. I... Okay. Okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. It's all right. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. There was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. Glad to hear it. Hopefully, uh, I'm hopeful about this alliance. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Great. Thanks for coming out, Sanja. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Gotta be honest, Captain. Never thought I'd see the day. You've done a good thing for Monarch here. No problem. All right, so what do I do with this U UDL gunship thing? <laughs> what do I do with it? Hey, what is this? Oh, I have to go talk to Phineas now? Uh, hey, Sanjar. Somebody. Buddy, if you'll excuse me, can I? Can I? Hey. Okay. Um, why am I over encumbered? What did I get? What? When did I pick that up? Did I get something else? I don't really... Hmm. I do want to stop by... Uh, what is it? Stellar Bay, though, for a bit. For a second. Why am I still over in... Cumbered? How, how much does this shit weigh? There we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 
Anything else I have to do on this planet before we leave? Where is that at? Hmm. Oh, yes. Um, wait, Captain Santa Ing. Oh, okay. No, but we have to help out Figure Max. And you know what? No, we're gonna see who we can uh, talk to about. Cause I, I don't know what to do with this gunship thing. I don't know what to do with it <laughs> now that that's happened. They, how did this be get made into a um a uh, propaganda poster that quickly? All right, let's let's see. Let's. See if we can offer this to Sanjar. I must thank you for your excellent recommendation regarding Zora. She's most capable. Anyway, what can I do for you? Um... Quite well, as a matter of fact. Zora is proving most capable. You should see the way she pounds the table and gets straight to the point. It makes for some rather exhilarating meetings. I know I had my concerns initially, but your instincts were right. Zora and her compatriots have become valuable and productive members of our community. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to. Good. What can I do for you? I guess I, guess I just keep the UDL gunship thing? Oh yeah, they're just, they're all just kind of hanging out around here. That's pretty damn cool. Alright, so let's, uh, where, where the hell is the, uh... This doesn't tell me what these icons are. I need to sell this stuff. That's the restaurant. Where, where's, like, the trading post or something? Isn't it nice to see you? Okay. Okay. Poor Braxton. I don't want to. Right, maybe I can sell stuff in here. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Thanks, buddy. Enjoy. If you're keeping Nioka company, you'll need a few to keep up with her. Ah! Ain't a person on this planet who can keep up with me. Wait, we are talking about a drinking contest, right? Now what can I do for you? Oof, okay. Uh, just trade. Just trade. All right, let's see about selling some of these armor pieces I don't want. I think that's it, really. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh wait, no, I still have to go to Fallbrook. But I do need to be on the ship to get Vicar Max. So that's what we're gonna do first. We can just exit. No, let's actually just head to fly over to Fallbrook. I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Dr. Shaw. Okay. Welcome back, Captain. I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Dr. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? 
Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast. Hello. I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. Hello. I'll keep this short, lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn, engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. Okay. Awesome. Goodbye. We'll go back there as soon as possible. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Sweet. Alright, Nioka, you can stay here. Okay. So let's see what answers we can get. You'd think folks were pissing in the alleyways as bad as it stinks. <laughs> well, I mean, sulfur does stink up literally everything. Hey, Ken. Knock, knock. This is Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. All right. Knock, like I'm on the outside of a door. And nope. you say. Nope, in here. I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. Oh, uh, having a rough day. <laughs> okay, Pravati, thank you. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Yeah. That is, of course, if he's an actual scholar. You sound shady every time you mention him. Come on. Coming back. Come on. There we go. Down here. Hello there, buddy. We must speak. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, oh. guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. What's going on here? This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar. Care to explain? Hey, what are you doing? I'm not sure what's happening here, but I'm always up for some senseless violence. Please proceed. Oh my god. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Sounds like a good idea. Proceed. Uh, you're going to give up everything uh, you've ever believed in just for revenge? Maybe he didn't know the book was in French. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you! It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? 
Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Stop. Enough of this. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. There, that's sorted. I don't think so. A crazed hermit on Scylla? He's playing us for fools. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Now can we go? What do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Hey, I just want to thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Give me your money. Exaggeration? Has the vicar told you what he did to old Lamp? He's still eating through a tube last I heard. Shit. Look, what I may or may not have done to some degenerate during a prison brawl is old news. I'd rather not discuss it. Okay. Um, hey buddy, you wanna you wanna talk? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Cut the crap, Max. You lied to me about Cheney. I wanna know why. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew friendship and I used you to get to Cheney and even then you saved me from myself I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it you owe me nothing I know but I I'm begging your forgiveness don't let it happen again thank you I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward You never asked. Well, you didn't, but fine. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. Yeah. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. Okay, and what was it like? Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny, the world will try to correct for it. All right, let's get a move on. Well, that's just like a wet spot. I thought it was a giant slug. All right, so journal. Wait, where is that at? Okay, so we still do actually have something to do here. Oh wait, no. Is that on another planet? Emerald Vale. Okay. We can stop by there. And then probably return to Roseway as well. Or you know what? Maybe Roseway first, because that seems like it might be short. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Roseway first. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Excellent. Look at the girls going back to their 
place. Remember that you are not insured. Okay. Let's take Sam out for a test drive. All right. Yeah. Come on, look look at this dude. Look at this absolute unit. Probably not gonna get any dialogue out of him, but let's let's at least see what we can do. Save those. Because that does not. I think he was over here. I guess that's not really a quest to follow. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I I'm not allowed to use the communications room. We are still, after all, a secret facility. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti nature, Anti Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. Okay. The schematics you fetched for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, Anti Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I thought it'd be safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. Okay. Um. Oh my. What does it do? Oh. 222 acid damage? Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out eventually. I don't uh, really have anything here to murder. Okay, maybe I do have something to murder. Pretty, pretty good. Flawlessly finished. Oh my god. I love you, Sam. Already. Okay. It's got a hair trigger. And it still technically follow, uh, follows, fires lasers, even though it's infused with acid. Interesting. All 
right, lovely. Back on the ship, ready to go. So, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return in a moment, we're going to go uh, see if we can help out Neoka, see if we can finish that out as well. Then we'll probably go see Phineas. So I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in a moment. Thank you.